Hey guys, we've got the Chow banner on Global. Um, I've swapped over to my Google account and we're going to do some pulls. Um, the unit seems like a pretty good magical tank. Uh, he's also got a few unique things like he can do Omni Cover um, permanently active as long as you can fill his LB every other turn. And it's only 40 LB crystals, so it's pretty cheap to do. Um, like I said, Kyle seems like, or Chow. <laughs> Chow seems like a decent magical tank. He's got decent healing as well. Um, seems like a fully fledged healer as well as tank in one. And in the shift form, um, he's a light locked mage, has a few chaining frames. Um, he has an LB. Uh, seems better than Paws, but he is a light locked mage, and his damage uh, at first glance doesn't seem super excessive or anything. Like, not terrible about on the level of pause. He has a 300x modifier um, outside of Clash of Wills and then a 500x modifier inside Clash of Wills with um, max morale gain, uh, which is on the lower end, especially because you don't get variants at all. So the damage is not super impressive, but uh, the tanking seems great. So we're gonna go for it. I tried Clash of Wills a little bit earlier and it didn't go so well uh, trying to OTK up Echelon 5. Uh, what's the problem here? Did the game freeze? There it is. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, it, I, I, I OTK'd until Echelon 5. Echelon 5, we got there, and that OTK stopped working. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull for Chow because I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull for him anyway because I really like that Omni cover, um, which could potentially see use in certain strategies. So we're going to go for him. Uh, we're going to do the the EX tickets first. Uh, in my last big pull video, I did EX tickets after the pulls, and the pulls went terrible. So maybe we're going to get these out the way first, and then we're going to do the pulls. And maybe that'll make a difference. Who knows? We'll see. So we've got a couple EX tickets, then we're going straight to the step up. So the pity is, if I remember correctly from my news video, 32,000, which is, um, you know, cheaper than usual. All right, no upgrades here. Neither one of those are very impressive. Let's go again. And I think these are the blue EX tickets. Oh, well. And we get Yigni. Well, he's not EX3 yet, so something, I guess. I think he's one copy away from EX3 now. Also, I should mention, um, uh, now that I was thinking about it, in the, the new Clash of Will shop, we actually have two copies of Reclaim Serenity in the shop. So, that's super awesome. Super awesome. Okay, you know, whatever. So we got a Yigni. Uh, he was not EX3 yet, so it's, it's not a waste. You know, it's a good pull. Um, it's not one that I was really like hoping for or anything, but it's certainly not a bad pull. All right, so, so what do we have going on here? So we've got tickets, Lena Banner, Dorgan Banner, no thank you. Tickets on Chow. I think that's the step up. Daily, um, Treasure Summon, Fortune Summon. Okay, yeah, so we're going to step up. Yeah, all right, so we need <sighs> 10... 10 steps or whatever, two and a half laps to get the pity. Hoping for a lot of chows on the way. If I do see a red crystal, please anything except Shui Yu, Shui Yi, whatever it's called. Hey, we got a bunch of chows. The wrong ones, but we got some. Oh my god, chow rate up confirmed. <laughs> Okay, dud pull, whatever. Yeah, the seven star chow, unfortunately, is not really doing anything for me. Ah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's go again. I think the guaranteed Neo is on the third step. So, uh, next one will be a guaranteed Neo. Probably off banner Neo. Um, okay. Some duds here. A lot of 
of rainbows. I thought... I thought this banner was locked to, to, to New Year's units. Is that not the case? Am I pulling on the right banner? Oh my god. I am pulling on the right banner. I thought it was locked to New Year's units. I guess it isn't. Which is actually a good thing, because I don't really want those New Year's units. Uh, well, then again, I don't really want many other Rambos either, so... Oh, okay, this is the guaranteed one, so... Tyvus? If it's going to be off-banner, please. Tyvus? Oh my god. One of the worst possible. I've got so many of her. Oh! The Regina card. Assuming we ever get uh, the seven-star vision card system, that's one of the good ones to have. So many seven-star chows. Hey, there's a second Emperor Fu, so now he's seven-star for me. And my first ever Quinn, so okay. Um, th those were the only two New Year's rainbows that I actually wanted, and I got them both that ball. That was pretty cool. So now I have a seven-star Emperor Fu, which I could have omniprismed at any point during the last year, but I didn't want to. Now I don't have to. And then uh, Quinn's TMR is uh, honestly not that good. It was good like two years ago. So no Neos at all, other than the the guaranteed, and it was terrible. Still no Neos, jeez. Bad luck again. Is this going to be like a, a, a repeat of the Typhus pulls? Well, the first lap was. There's 7-star Quinn, if that ever matters. Okay, unfortunate. First first trip through, we got uh, nothing. Second trip. Oh, red on the first pull. Outstanding. Please no Shu Yi. I mean, I'd rather a Shu Yi over that. <laughs> really? Really? Of all the freaking Neos? He's already EX3. Feels so bad. Feels really bad. And he's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. So here's my third Quinn. One more, and I uh, <laughs> can get the e get the SDMR. Man, Axstar and Savior. What a trash result. That is so bad. Maybe I should pull on my Amazon account more often. Maybe it has better rates because. I did Typhus on Google last last month, and the pulls felt kind of the same. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Here's the guaranteed. Could it please be something good like Summoner Yuna or Tyvis or Aran? Give me those premiums. I'm speechless. We're just on a roll today. It's Furion. Who probably won't get his EX skills on global. Oh, here we go. More off banners. Pulls are going great. And there's a second copy of the Regina card. Well, there's Quinn's SDMR. That's something, I guess. What is it, a two-handed harp? Is it actually better or worse than o Olivera's SDMR? I'm assuming worse. I don't actually know. <sighs> Sucks. Well, we still have a few more pulls to go, so maybe it'll turn around. A lot of rainbows. They could upgrade. 
third Emperor Fu. One more for the STMR. Although his STMR is kind of whatever. Well, we got Quinn's STMR. Okay, second lap was pretty much a dud as well. We did get two extra Neos. They were both worthless. <laughs> and two more third laps. Like, not getting any Chows all the way to Pity is one thing, but all the off banners being just trash is what makes it feel extra bad. Like, if I had at the very least got a nice off banner or two, it wouldn't feel so bad. But, like, Furion and Lightning and Axstar, like, give me a break. There's Emperor Fu's STMR. Well, what are we getting this time? Well, that feels better. That feels dramatically better. Alright. I still love more copies, though. Because this STMR is really good, too. And I kind of want more, more than one copy. And keep him... Keep, uh, I am happy that I just got him. Like, it's just like... Those first two laps were just like sucking the, the fun out of this. <laughs> But I, I am glad that I now got one copy. So that's really good. That's really good. All right. So this this is this is the final technical pity step. But we're, we're, we're going to finish out the lap though. Because for one thing, I still I still want more chows. Um. Because his STMR, I, I'd really like more copies of it. But more importantly, um. <sighs> yeah, 4K for two entire pulls plus a guarantee. It seems it seems worth it. So we're gonna go we're gonna go to the free pull and then we're gonna stop. All right, guaranteed off banner. What's it gonna be today? Oh, huh, two reds. Okay, this is turning around. First copy of Freesia. Gives me the STMR. Um, you know, it's a decent STMR. Yuna loves it. Um, if I ever use Shuii, even though she's not upgraded, she loves it. Uh, Mermaid Freesia is an overall decent wind buffer as well. Um, she's SOB, and she's only going to be EX1 for me, so she's going to be a little bit slow. But, uh, yeah, that is that was one of like the top five off-banners I'd want to see. Absolutely great. Very, very happy about that Mermaid Freesia. Yeah, lap three is turning it around. Okay, I am cheering up. I'm cheering up. Those first two laps were oof, big oof. It has, it has gotten way better on lap three. We're not even done yet. I, I am really happy. I'm more happy about Freesia than I am about Chow, because Chow... Um, is on banner. Freesia, I'm 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 super happy about Freesia. I really am. I, I wanted her STMR so much, but I I I couldn't I couldn't really justify pulling for her because it's not that important. But I am I am stoked about Freesia. Very happy about that. Very, very happy. That was literally like after like Aaron, Yuna, and Tyvis, that would have probably been my number four for most wanted off banners would be a mermaid Freesia. Super cool that I got that. Super cool. And here's the free pull. Um, at this point, you know, whatever. More chow would be nice. But uh, if I don't get it, whatever. Do I even really need more chow? I think at this point, I think that's EX3. Because pity plus 2 plus 5k bundle. I think that's EX3 at this point. Um, I have to do the math. We got one, a final Neo, though, so that's nice. No, it isn't. We're going to end on a low note. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I mean, okay, so in the end, this turned out pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, two Chows plus Pity. Um, that is EX3 after login reward and 5k bundles, etc. Um, yeah, yeah, and Mermaid Freesia. Super good. Super, super good. Very, very pleased at this point. And then we go and get a guaranteed chow from the pity. And we are happy. Okay, so I will be spending time um, leveling up chow, 
building a proper team for um, for Clash of Wills, and then I will be figuring it out. And for those of you that decide to not pull Chow, um, as far as Clash of Wills goes, um, I will have you know videos without Chow at some point. But for day one, when I don't know anything about the Clash of Wills boss, we're going to be going with what is most likely the strongest option, and I'm assuming it's going to be it's going to be Chow. I don't actually know because I don't really know what the boss does yet, but. Uh, I would assume the fight is designed around having Chow. So if you want a non-Chow clear, that'll be coming in a few days. Anyway, good luck to the rest of you. Hopefully <laughs> lap three turns around for you like it did for me, because I was I was irritated on lap one and two. That was bad. And then lap three, whew, big turnaround, big turnaround. All right, see you next time.